Did you know a brilliant scientist created weapons that would later murder his own people? Fritz Haber stood at Ypres in 1915, watching his chlorine gas drift across no man's land. Within minutes, 5,000 Allied soldiers were dead, choking on their own blood. He called it progress, science serving the state, no matter the cost. His wife Clara begged him to stop, horrified by what he had become. But Haber pushed forward, perfecting deadlier gases, including something called Zyklon A. Originally designed to kill pests, he refined it into the perfect killing tool. When Clara found his service pistol, she made her final choice. The gunshot echoed through their home that night. Still, he continued his work, proud of his chemical innovations. Years later, the Nazis took his Zyklon formula and created Zyklon B. The same Jewish scientist pesticide now filled gas chambers across Europe. Haber died in exile, his own people murdered by his creation. The father of chemical warfare had built the tools for his family's destruction.